Tour de France starts next year in Italy. I rode the best parts of the second stage, meaning Imola Worlds 2020 loop, Pianoro Hills, and lastly the iconic Santuario de Madonna di San Luca. Esco here. Hi. In this video, um, I'll share some recommendations and ideas based on my own ride. I started to go east from Bologna towards Imola. There is some 35k of good flat road for warming up. If you don't get nervous about traffic, this section is perfect for tempo driving as well. Imola, history and engine roar f ones but especially motorcycles. Now, we are on an interestingly varied first loop of the world's route. You surely remember the stunning solo by Julian Alaphilippe uh, three years ago. Coming back to Imola, even as you see the kitchen table here on the street, you guess where we are. And some panini, which I ate many of those enough uh, in a couple of these days and back to the direction of Bologna. This Pianoro loop is very very popular. The road is in good condition and has hardly any heavy traffic. This is an easy route to vary but the basic loop from Bologna is about 30 to 40 k. I'm driving this clockwise now like the upcoming Tour de France. And now we are starting the ascent of the Botechino di Zocca and it's a very very nice three kilometer uphill let's say most of it is quite steady six percent so not too much for this kind of, sort of heavier master class rider. There are plenty of motos on these roads individually and in groups as well. So this is the top and now we are going downhill to Pianoro. Here uh, I have been riding to Bologna and uh, I didn't know the uh, sort of detour to Monte Calvo, that is another hill, before I read about it, uh, that it's included uh, on the Tour de France. So this is a very nice place indeed. So um, this is a category 3 climb, let's say 3 kilometers and uh, the average steepness from Rastignano to Monte Calvo is slightly higher than Botechino. So here it's uh, the average is 8 percent. Finally reaching the top here. So the downhill is, um, I think it's quite similar steepness and it's very very nice to go down but if you go either way clockwise or anti-clockwise I think the experience might be quite similar. I took my second pit stop at Giardini Margherita. It's a big, very cozy park where you can stop for a picnic or even go for a morning run. Very nice indeed. And um, after that, it was the last loop to the Santuario. I won't discuss this final ascent to the church that much now. It's just, just say that it, it's awesome. It's damn steep. And, uh, but very very nice altogether. I made a short video about this climb uh, a week ago, so on the up upper corner you see the link. Yeah, and now back to Bologna, which is a, such a nice city to cycle in, especially if you don't, uh, if you feel happy with negotiating, zigzagging and slaloming there. 
so thanks for watching and check out also the next video that I will do on the very nice mountain lakes of Brasimone and Suviana right there is something I really recommend as well bye